Hallo? Welcome back to the Mystery Room. My name is Mystery Gamer X. This time in full Mystery Gamer X attire. Even though it's hot as hell in here. <laughs> Anyways, I'm here to talk about a little game that probably you, your mother, your dog, your cat, and everybody else knows about. Yes, I'm of course talking about. Wait. Super Smash Brother Ultimate. I'm sorry if that's right. Yes, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, a game that's been out for a couple of months. It's been out since December. Uh, and even though I do have a Switch since last May, I decided to hold off. I'm getting this until like uh, a couple weeks ago, sort of. I think it's been like a month or so since I last played this thing. I managed to get this for like uh, 45 bucks, I think. Uh, I think that was the price that I bought it for. Anyways, I did decide to get it a couple of months after the fact because honestly, there was a deal breaker with me. I didn't want to play this game in particular with Joy-Cons. I mean, yeah, they're great. And I, I mean, for what they are, but uh, Joy-Cons with a fighting game, uh, it doesn't really mesh well with me, I would say. Um, so instead, what I did was, let me look for it. What I did was buy this dingy little thing right here called an... 8-bit dough. I connect this to the switch and it lets me use my preferred controller of choice which in my case is a PS4 controller. As you probably saw in the title it says that uh, something about first timer and all that. Yeah it's kind of a misleading title. I'm not exactly... this isn't the first time that I've played Smash Brothers. I actually have played uh, Smash Brothers before. I've played uh, Smash Brawl? Which is the Wii one, I think? Right? I think so. Anyways, I played that one, I played the Wii U one, Smash 4, but uh, it was just at a friend's house. It was just me passing by, going by to my friend's house and playing a couple of matches of uh, Smash, you know? It wasn't really me having the game like I do now with Smash Ultimate and dedicating myself to actually playing the game. You know, more than just a couple of matches, which in every single one of those matches I lost. I think I only won once. Pro game over here. I've been playing for years. No, not really. I, I think I've said it before. Fighting games aren't really my thing. If I haven't said it, then now I'm saying it. Fighting games aren't really my jam. Uh, before Smash Ultimate, I would say that Dead or Alive 5 Last Round and Soul Calibur 6 were my favorite uh, fighting games. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed those games quite a bit. Um, I mostly enjoy single player games and all that. Not, I'm not competitive at all. So yeah, Smash Bros. Ultimate has been a great time. Now, why am I releasing this video now? Well, obviously, the Joker DLC came out not too long ago, a couple days ago, actually. And, hey, I gotta capitalize on that, try to get some clicks, clicks, clicks on my videos, right? You know? Uh, feed the algorithm. Gotta feed the algorithm of YouTube and all that. You know. So, yeah, I've been playing a couple of rounds of smash or mostly just going through adventure mode again but um, with uh, Joker from Persona which has been a pretty good character I'm still trying to get used to him and all that smash is I think that now if, if it's I don't know if it's considered or not a fighting game at one point I think I heard that 
Uh, Sakurai said that Smash was a party game and not a fighting game, but uh, it's definitely a fighting game to me. And if so, it's now my favorite fighting game of all time. I really love uh, what they did with the adventure mode. Um, uh, World of Light, that's the name. So going through the the, um, the whole board and and the world and all that stuff. It it really it it made it. Um, I think that what it made it be good is the fact that you are constantly collecting. As someone whose first game was Pokemon Yellow, one of my two first games that I played was Pokemon Yellow, actually, and uh, a very big aspect of Pokemon is capturing, uh, collecting uh, creatures. So the whole collecting spirits and, and all that really got me uh, coming for more every single time. Um, there were a lot of uh, days and nights that I would spend playing the game and just going through it at 1am just going one more, just one more fight, one more spirit and I would call it a day and that one more just kept cramming up and I ended up almost not sleeping sometimes. But that's just the venture mode and you can, hey, pro tip, you can put it on easy mode. Yes, I do love my easy modes. Other than adventure mode or world of life or whatever, uh, there's also the classic mode, which you pick one fighter and you go through a couple of stages, just like a regular fighting game almost. You know that in fighting games you have like five, eight stages in arcade mode. Basically, that's what the classic mode is. I'm pretty damn sure that veterans of Smash Brothers know this because I think that that's been in other Smash Brothers games. It's pretty cool, it's pretty alright. It's uh, You can adjust the difficulty and all that. Adventure mode is honestly the one that, that captured me the most. The same adventure mode panel, you also have like a spirit board and where you also fight more spirits that you can't find sometimes in a world of light. Of course, these spirits are much more difficult, mostly because there is no difficulty setting in the spirit board. There's just one setting and that's it. Also, in adventure mode you can capture the spirits once you defeat them. In the spirit board you need to defeat them, then you have a chance to capture them once you destroy like a barrier... barrier reef? A barrier thingy that's spinning around, spinning it around all the time. Actually, before I started adventure mode, I actually started in the spirit board and got a couple of spirits uh, racking them all up and letting me take advantage of them in the adventure mode uh, which made it a whole lot easier than it already was uh, obviously when I put it on easy mode there's also the, sm the normal smash mode and all that I'm just going through it real fast because I know that if you've played the game you already know this I'm, I'm just trying to recap uh, what what's what modes are in the game actually. There's a couple other things they added the stage builder now. It's... I'm not dabbling in that just like I'm not dabbling in on the online. Uh, here online it's great when you can connect with someone but it's not all the time so it's, honestly Smash is not... I, 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 I like how good of a single player uh, experience it can be, especially because in most fighting games cases you're doing the same thing over and over, even if you have different fighters you kind of feel like you're repeating every single time what you're doing and it feels, uh, you know, you can kind of get bored real quick sometimes unless you're an expert and you're practicing day and night for that specific fighting game, at least for me I like a little bit of variety over here uh, which, speaking of variety, there's a lot of characters in this game, like, holy moly, those, you got your Marios, you got your Sonics, you got your Pac-Mans, you got your Mega Mans, you got your Jokers now, and you got a whole bunch of other characters all in between, and they're all great, and some of them are Echo Fighters, uh, basically clones of other characters, 
but there's a lot of variety in the, in terms of characters where that you can choose and pick from each one of their own abilities each one of their own uh, ways to uh, recover retaliate or whatever you want to call it one of the reasons why i actually pretty much love smash bros ultimate is because it doesn't actually work like a fighting game like at least not like a traditional fighting game in traditional fighting games you usually go through rounds and you beat your opponent and deplete their health bar and all that the deal about smash brothers is you knocking out your opponent out of the stage instead of depleting their health bar although there are some missions in the adventure mode and spirit board that do require you to deplete your enemy's health bar so it's it still works although i do prefer just knocking them out of the stage instead of depleting a health bar it's it kind of makes the fight a little bit more interesting you know uh, and i really love that aspect of smash bros and it's probably why i actually prefer this game over other fighting games other than you know the whole roster of a lot of a lot of characters overall smash bros ultimate my favorite fighting game now as a newcomer to the series i very much appreciate everything that sakurai has done to make this game very much enjoyable for everyone uh, veterans i i'm assuming that veterans are happy have they been happy since melee though have they truly i don't know i just know that i'm happy with the game and i certainly love it as someone who had never played uh, or dedicated enough time to these games to actually uh, kind of get get good in them. I'm still trash, by the way. So yeah, I never get good. That's my secret cap. I'm never getting good. As a newcomer, what I'm trying to say is that I actually appreciate it. I really love it, and I hope that if you've played it, you've enjoyed it too. I'm pretty damn sure it's been highly critically successful. Still waiting to see if my boys. Crash and Spyro get in on the fray, but it's highly doubtful. But a man can dream, a man can certainly dream. If not, you could always just put my boy Sora for Smash, or you could just put me. I gotta use uh, that pick a lot. Because, you know, I worked a couple of uh, hours making that stupid picture, so I gotta get some mileage out of it. Anyways, I've rambled on a lot. Maybe it's meaningless. Maybe nobody will see this video. Maybe you will. I don't know. If you did, and you stuck up to the end, thank you very much. I love you. All of you. Every single one, two, three, four that actually watch my videos every single time that I upload them. I love you guys, every one of you. Till next time, guys, may your hearts be your guiding key. Also, remember to like, share, subscribe if you like this video. Catch you next time. Hello? Totally, absolutely forgot to use Morgana in the entire video. Mm. Oh well, let's not do that today, I guess. <laughs>